Hello folks. So I haven't done a video in a long time, but I thought I would actually do this video and get it uploaded before I pretty much um, edited and uploaded se several years of video because I think it's important. It's all to do with the um, GoPro Hero 10 Black um, and the severe overheating problems. Now, the original um, thought process everyone's been having um, is the fact that the battery is the issue. Um, now, I've just been spending the last couple of days um, testing um, little ideas. Um, the first idea was to open, or the first, first thing to do was to um, test how far each camera would go. Um, one was located near to a desktop fan. Um, which is pretty it was a pretty long fan and it is enough um to feel across a room which is about 17 feet so that's the distance where the, where it's powerful enough to go across 17 feet the gopro itself is located on my desk which is about two feet away so that one was getting a fair bit of um fair bit of breeze to it the other one because i've got two of them was located located on the other side of my desk wasn't getting any breeze um basically i set it off both at the same settings which is 4k 60 uh, frames per second and the stabilizer pretty much the, all the options i would have if i would actually be using it um, in my case i'm hoping it to be used for uh, as a dash cam um because better details etc so I found that the the one on my right side, which wasn't getting any breeze, that was actually um, running, I think, 25 minutes or 35 minutes, can't remember which, um, that basically gave up the ghost um, at that point in time. The one that was getting the breeze gained 15 minutes. I then did another test, um, which was at a lower um, resolution. Um, the rest of it was the same. Um, <clears throat> did it again. It increased um, by, I think, about 15, 20... Uh, no, an hour, sorry. Increased by about an hour um, on each side, I think. I then took the <clears throat> the battery cover um, off each, um, went back to 4K um, and 60. Um, da -da -da -da. Yeah, did the um, did the battery cover? Did the both settings um, again with a breeze, one with no breeze, and that increased it um, quite significantly. Um, <clears throat> right, I'm getting a bit confused. Let's have a look. Right, let me start that again. So, I did a bunch of testing. Um, one was right next to um, the left side of me, which is here. Um, that was next to the fan, which you can pretty much hear. And the other one was this side, da -da -da, this side here. Um, both of them, simple settings. Uh, nothing's changed. No, nothing changed at that point in time, and the the battery um, with no fan went for thirty five minutes. The one with a fan went for fifty five minutes. The battery um, with the door open and the cable connected to provide constant power um, at two k and sixty. Um, the power percentage stayed at 15% um, from the moment the cable was attached. However, when the cable was removed 30 seconds later, at around 3 hours and 34 minutes, the camera shut off. Um, so when the, the battery itself was still inside, um, you would assume that it would have got charged at the same time. Uh, but I, I am assuming that where given the results because um the the filming was happening and it's at a high, quite a high rate of filming um the battery didn't have chance to charge 
and as soon as the, the plug was removed, the overheating issue was causing um, the, the battery to just go too hot and gone. So <clears throat> that one went on for three hours, 40, th three hours and 34 minutes until it shut off. Um, then I did a battery, uh, battery out of it, power cable connected, four power, uh, 4K, 60. Um, and pretty much that's battery out, power cable, door open, uh, 4K and 60, and that went for just um, underneath 16 hours. So when I felt um, the, the actual um, GoPro itself, da -da -da -da, see if you can see it there, right. So on the top, the, 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 the heat on the top is around about here. So it's pretty much what I would believe to be the lens in the center, I'm guessing, I'm not too sure. Um, however, the major heat um, isn't from the battery. It is actually from, sorry, from the base here. So it's actually the USB um, assembly. That is where the, the, the severe ma uh, majority of the heat is coming from. Um, so what I also noticed is that when it was consistently getting power without the door open, without the battery inside, um, the heat wouldn't actually climb up even more, as more, se more severe. Because I actually thought, um, when I actually went to bed, left, left it um, going, I actually believed, and I was assuming, that given the sever severity of the heat with the battery, etc., and how it, how the heat was climbing, I actually thought that the heat was going to climb to a point where obviously I'll probably hear some hissing and popping and flames coming out. But for some reason, um, the heat from the from the USB C assembly only went to a certain point, and the heat never changed. Now I I can't say that for sure. But I'm saying it based on the fact of I was finger testing it, putting my finger on the on the base to see how hot it was, and I was always able to put my finger on it. Um, I wasn't going oh ow, and it wasn't blazing red and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, so I, it's it's either going to be a bug, I, I'm assuming, um, possibly low lower quality um, part that, that that they've gained from somewhere. That's causing the issue, and I am also going to possibly guess that if it isn't that, um, sorry, the, um, the bug, I assume, will be in the firmware. Um, pretty much, they can. I, I, I mean, I am assuming that the firmware can be fixed by. The, um, sorry, the bug can be fixed with the firmware, um, and that shouldn't take too long at all. But that's if um, GoPro actually um, get rid of their ego um, and their arrogance of saying they're not going to sort it out and everything else. Um, if it is something so simple, then sort it out. Because you're basically pissing off people that have paid out a lot of money for hardware that you know damn well that there's a problem there. And it's just causing more problems. Um, the other part is obviously the, the the hardware that's being used. Is it possibly a lower quality hardware? Is there a fault within the hardware itself, the USB-C um, assembly? If there is, change it for another one. Um, so yeah, so don't waste your money on the new fandangled um, cooler battery that they've just brought out because that tells me that they also didn't do enough testing and I've just fi figured out basically what the problem is um, in less than 48 hours um, and they've had I would I would assume a whole year to deal with their situation so yeah so door off um, external battery um, battery with a cable connected to take their battery out um, and have fun obviously you won't be able to use it in conditions um, where where it will allow um, water or dirt to get inside where the battery would be covered so you're obviously going to be restricted in that manner itself um, so I hope this helps um, thought I'd do a video just in case somebody saw um, 
my post etc and decided to do their own um, video that it was their discovery um, so yeah so bye um, if you like this video if it actually helped you um, if you want to spread the spread the awareness and get it changed um, like share comment share your opinion share what you found um, share the video um, and possibly I don't know subscribe to the channel because at some point I will be able to uh, finally upload s several years of, of videos um, and that all those videos might actually be able to help you with the stuff I actually have been doing over the years so um, see you later